Good morning, church. My name is Aaron Rosenberry, and uh, David has asked me to do another one of these devotionals for you guys. So the last one he asked me to do was two or three months ago. It was sort of when all this was ramping up. It was when we were all told to go home, stay in our homes as much as we could, and how life felt like it was slowing down. God sort of put everything on pause for us. And now as we open everything back up uh, and life goes back to its lightning fast pace that we're more used to, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about distractions. So when we were sent home, everybody was sent home, most of us found a lot more time on our hands. The world was sort of put on pause. Uh, a lot of people didn't have to, weren't even working at all. Um, those of us that were continuing to work, we weren't commuting to work as much. Most of us weren't. A lot of us, a lot of us weren't. There was no more socializing engagements, no shopping, no sports. Um, everything was just sort of put on pause and things slowed down a lot. Um, you know, and Jesus did this at, at times. Um, you know, in, in Mark chapter 6, verse 31, after a busy day, Jesus says to his disciples, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place to get some rest. And that's sort of like what it felt was happening, is that we were all being given a chance to rest and remove uh, distractions from our lives. Now, as... Everyone's starting to resume more normal activity, and life picks back up. You know, social engagements, sh you know, shopping trips, people going back to work, commuting. Um, you know, not to mention the other distractions of everything that's happening in the news, uh, all the craziness that's out there. Um, there's a lot going on, and our world is filled again with distractions. Um, today, I read Ephesians. 5, uh, 15 through 16, and it said, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. And I thought that was really interesting how it was telling us to, you know, use our time wisely. Don't get distracted by the things that don't matter. Um... Because there's a lot of evil in the world, and typically any distraction you have from God and the Bible is usually not a good distraction. I know if I pick up my phone to to read the Bible, you know how many things you know ding or pop up on the screen trying to get me to do something else. Half the time, my phone, I figure what I was even doing. Um, I think more so than in any previous point of time in our lives are filled with distractions. The U.S. has about 120 mobile phones, phone lines per 100 people. That's 120 mobile phone lines per 100 people. I mean, how many people do you see, you know, with smartwatches, you know, one of them just, oh, what's that? You know, vibrates in your wrist and you check it, or, you know, people with earbuds or AirPods in just constantly listening to something or talking to somebody. Um, the CEO of Netflix was once asked who their biggest competition was. His answer was sleep. It's just people aren't even sleeping because they're just distracted by what's going on or what else they can consume in the world. I'm the king of distractions myself. I'm so good at being distracted that I failed out of my first attempt at college because of video games. Um, my wife will tell you that it, when I do any chores while watching something on my phone or the TV, it takes me at least twice as long as when there is nothing to distract me. So what do we do? I think we try and learn lessons from this time we had of slowness, of putting things on pause. I think we're all going to be very thankful when things can go back to a normal, but, um, you know, we have to remember that it's not what's important. 
First John chapter 2, verse 17 says, The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. So we need to focus on God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning of your straight and smooth path and the end. Any turns off of that path, any distractions off that path, lead you astray from Him. So focus on Him. Make Him the important thing. I hope nothing distracted you from this video. Uh, I hope you stay safe out there and uh, being careful as we open things back up. I can't wait to see you all again soon and have a great day.